Hey everybody, welcome back to Pockets Corner. We are finishing off this first disc. We are uh, damn near at the tail end of this game. All 20 Stardust have been collected. We've farmed legendary casks for our main lineup. Granted, I could have done more farming for more casks. I could have gotten a few of the uh, other accessories. <clears throat> but I'm not trying to break the game. I am, however, trying to avoid what has almost always been one of the worst fights that happen in Disc 2. Which is where I think these casks really really shine. Anyways, it is now time to begin our infiltration from the old fortress underneath the castle into the waterworks. And it is at this point, ladies and gentlemen, that we are unable to go back. This is it. Now, one thing must be said about this design, uh, I am a thousand percent for it. I love the gritty feel of it, how you can feel the tunnel, you can see how people tracked and tried to formulate their possible escape out of this castle. or maybe from the top trying to find their way in. Uh, we're not gonna go down either of those. Nothing, nothing done there. Oh, actually, my mistake. We are gonna go down this one. And then down this one. And we all, and we all. And just like that, we are in. Now, avoiding fights here is as simple as just baiting people until you know you can get to the stairs safely. There's also a ton of items here. Oh, ran right into them. That's alright. Three out of four isn't so bad. So our addition progression has definitely come a long way with Dart and Rose. <laughs> A lot of the farming did not occur with Prince Albert, so he will be further behind, unfortunately, because he has the most amount of addition options available. But 
but you can't win them all. So we're gonna have a focus on trying to make sure. Look at this fire damage get reduced to damn near nothing. <laughs> it's a miss, actually. <laughs> That's that legendary cask for you. More than paying for itself, and it will continue to pay out dividends. And as it is the head slot, it is almost as free as it gets. Here's a fun bit. I never uh, knew this until I did it by accident a long time ago. You can actually run back here and grab a couple of chests. So we'll take a pellet, and we'll take, uh, what is this, uh, attack orb, burnout. Still can't cross the bridge, but now we're on the inside, so it's not really important. This is essentially a mandatory fight. I guess you can take the other route, but... Actually, that route, it does lead you to a mandatory boss fight. This is just a non-issue. Bandit's ring, though. We'll have our boy, uh... We'll have our boy Albert up to par in no time at all. Spinning Cane. Not even his best one. I really want to get into Gust of Wind Dance. Absolutely my favorite one of all time. Oh. Actually... Let's take a look at our additions, just to get a, a feel at where we're at. It's going to take a while for us to get our boy uh, Albert in Dragoon level order. Level 3 is going to be a while before he gets it, but hopefully not too long. Um, additions. Burning Rush is level 4, we just need 16. Really good. Rose is looking at 14 herself. That's remarkable. How on earth? Oh, uh, 64 and 66. Uh, that is pretty cool. So we may actually change out Rose in the future for Hashel so we can start working on Hashel's combos. And. Albert's at 42 of 60, so he still needs 38 total. Alright. Again, that ladder just leads to an alternate route. We don't need to engage in the fight right now. We will eventually. There's no real reason to put it off or not. Um, something important to note here. These enemies uh, will... We'll go ahead and fight them. This is essentially the last grind that you could possibly do, but this is for experience. And it's not even really a particularly good one. It's just the fastest one to guarantee a fight. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Especially if your additions are up to par, this is like, you kill them fast, and then you can reset them super fast, faster than you could if you just went in, in and out of fights on the world map. Also, fights on the world map rarely have good experience values. 
And again, as this is the final section for disc one, this is it, baby. This is your last opportunity. do the function. There's a little bit of lore here before we get to explain exactly that reset mechanic I was talking about, so let's go through that first. What is this? You are? Are you here to see my research? To visit me? In a way, we are pleased. We like it when mercenaries like you have an interest in our research. Indeed. Recently, barbaric suicidal attacks have been common. But if our research is successful, we will reduce the casualties of war. For example, that white flame... ...has a healing power. And that green flame isn't extinguished by water! When we put it to practical use, it will provide an advantage in war. But I've never seen such technology. It's like magic. You don't need to know about that. There are already enough of us involved in this accursed research. Yes, your job is to fight. There are too many things we don't know about this power. If you get involved too much, you'll end up like Mr. Magi! It's too late for that guy. We have to complete this research before it's too late for Sandora. I see. I will end the war. But can we ask you a little more? For example, what kind of function does this purple flame serve? This flame has the power source of the castle. The purple flame drives the elevators and lifts. It helps people's lives. That's the proper way of its use. But the war decides the use now. Yes, even if the technology can be used for the happiness of the people, once it's used wrongly, it may bring unhappiness. What we are making may bring unhappiness to people in Basel. I agree. This research is, after all, based on the calamity caused by the dragon. War creates catastrophe. It's a sad thing for both the people and the dragon. The dragon? The dragon is involved in this research? Oh, I slipped my tongue. Forget what I said. Now, back to the research. Let me give you some magical oil. This is the fuel for the purple flame. Gives you mobility. If you want to be healed, come visit me anytime. Thank you. It was useful. I assume he meant the conversation. So, they are harnessing the power of dragons to fuel magics that they use for... Profit in war. Um, by talking to the White Flame guy, you can heal, which will reset all the nerds. And now we have the ability to use the Purple Flame, which will allow us to power elevators. And right away, this room always freaked the 
Expletive removed. Filtered. Out of me. Uh, that is the purple dragon. Uh, and this is how they are harvest harnessing the power of the purple flame. Nobody can become happy without making someone else unhappy. We are just studying the principles of magic of Emperor Dole. I don't want people to feel like there's a crisis, so please do not tell anybody what you've seen or heard in here. This very room's existence puts to question a lot about the ethics of the war being uh, raged. But for now, we have a mini quest to get involved with. Ooh, we made it. I'm so good. So we got a good roll there. That rarely, that pattern rarely ever happens. Uh, also, we dodged this guy looking at us, which is awesome. Huh? It's dangerous. I cannot come in. Though, I'll give you credit for making it through. Only have garbage, but make yourself at home. I'll just be taking this redstone if you don't mind. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and dump that. Now, this redstone is one of three keys needed in order to uh, get to where we going. <laughs> he saw us. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we needed to go down anyway. This is actually better for us. We'll take this dark mist. Thank you kindly. We'll take this trans light. Thank you kindly. And we'll take this ladder out of that disgusting gutter. And we go! Right, now, uh, we have another stop before we move on from the main lift, and that means another mandatory fight. And in work, man. And I never have to worry about magic again. <laughs> oh, it feels dirty. Oh, it feels wrong. It feels wrong and dirty. I would be using uh, my dragon in order, my uh, dragoon spirit stuff, but I'm really trying to just close out um, additions. Like we're close enough, and if I can get them all to level five before we go on to like the big stuff here, that would be pretty wonderful. You. Who are you? I know. You're thieves. Come to steal my magic. Wait. We are... No excuse. Watch out! We don't know what'll do! Let him... Seems interesting. 
Take this steel shearing vacuum blade. Uh-huh. Uh, doesn't a magic work? That was still under research. I'll show you this. Take the rock crushing thunder arrow. I see. You are the researcher who is too late, aren't you? Then Mr. Magi is huh. <laughs> Those dumb researchers of trashy stuff <laughs> said something to you. <laughs> the secret of a magic those losers can never even hope to know. The magic of transformation. Cerberus, emerge! It seems real this time! But at least in the end, he amused us. <laughs> you hear that, Mr. Magi? In the very end... You will spend your life as a dog. But at least it amused us. It's kind of sad, really. Anyways, there's our other, uh... There's our other stone. One last stone to get. Shouldn't be too, uh, difficult. Alright, a lot to go through here. room woman of the item shop what you got girl show me your goods what are you buying all right so we also need to sell some stuff We're keeping the hats, for obvious reasons. We got, a, we got a couple items we can get rid of by just using them. So... You know what? I'm just gonna sell those two now that I think about it. I'd rather... There's a ton of other items out there. I'd rather not worry about it and just level my additions. Uh, so... Powerful attack for all we keep. Attack for all multi... Attack for all, that's fine. Individual attack. So we'll get rid of Dark Mist. We'll get rid of Sparknet. Get rid of Burnout. Alright, and we'll get rid of 
Pella and Translate. There we go. Alright, now we got some good space. Beast Fang! We never ended up farming this uh, out of... Where is it? The Marshlands? This is, um... Weapons for... Oops. This is weapons for... Our boy. Never ended up getting that drop, but you get it here. Alright, and that's full circle. Okay. Next level. Sadly, these poor fools will be the ones that need a readjustment. Should have kept practicing with that weapon, that boys. Burning rush. I guess I should mention this is a area of continuous fights so no rest between them but uh, there's really no cause for alarm is there Gotta love his dedication. Just watched his two comrades, his training partners, get eviscerated. And after having decided that a one at a time approach was the best way to win. The damn fool. It's his own damn fault. I am 100% blameless in this death. We'll be back for that, we'll be back for that. We have to be, we have to be methodical when we're approaching this. Otherwise we may miss something, and I ain't trying to miss nothing.
One, two, three. Easy as A, B, C. I know it's not that way, but... It doesn't work in-game if I do it the other way around. <laughs> I spy with my little eye an elite. Well, look at that. Oops. Spinning King. Spinning King. I gave it to my girl. Let's take a nice little gondola ride away from the castle, get a lovely little look at it. It looks so cool. Workers are saying all sorts of things, but I believe in Emperor Dole. I actually don't know what we're making. It must be something to do with the war. Spirit Ring. White flames, green flames, purple flames, all just made for the war. They're not what makes us happy. Spear Frost. Of course Dole would use the magic for the war. He would do anything to achieve victory. That's Dole. I think that's it. We get a nice little two items there and then move on back. Spin. Aha! We seem to have come not quite full circle, but... We have, uh... Oh, we can go straight to the third floor. Nice. Oh, this is the third floor. Okay. Uh-oh. I have a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, good thing we didn't have to be quiet sneaking up on this guy or anything. from Salus. You said the girl from Salus? You. You took me away to Helena. Indeed. I am the one who assaulted Salus under the orders of Emperor Dole. So you killed everybody? 
That was done by the brutal unit loyal to Frugal. I wouldn't let them kill unnecessarily if I were there. Anyway, doesn't change the fact that Imperial Sandora scorched Salus. If you want revenge for your home, you can draw your sword against me. But please do me one last favor. His Majesty Dole changed after a man called Lloyd showed up. He must have installed, instilled something into Emperor Dole, a demonic word that ignites his desire to vanquish. You were able to make it here, so you may be able to do it. I beg you, wake Emperor Dole up. You know what will happen, right? Yes. If you can accomplish that, Imperial Sandor's dominance will end. The, is, the result will be the same, even if the current oppression of Emperor Dol continues. There was a man like this in Sandora. Lavitz would be happy to hear this. And with that, we have our third and final key. And all of the pieces are lined up just so. And we can move up to the fourth floor now. I don't think I'm missing anything. I sure hope I'm not missing anything. Hey, look at guy! Oh, it's unusual to have guests at this time, but it's fine. Let me talk to you. I never have anyone to talk to. The long war decays people's hearts, it must have happened to you too. The blood-stained armor tells all. However, His Majesty Dole is also experiencing the fatigue from war. This statue of a goddess was created in memory of in the late wife of Emperor Dole, Empress Karina. It shows the frailty and fondness of Emperor Dole. He, however, continues the war for his own ambitions with increasing scenes of carnage. It shows his strength and cruelty. You must have both inside you, because the human heart can envelop them all. Face your true self, then you will become as strong as Emperor. all I wanted to say. If you are lost, come visit me anytime. I'll help you find a way. That's pretty, uh, deep for a clergyman. A save point. But before we save and begin the final selection, the final chapter, three holes. <laughs> Every hole's a goal. Yeah, try it. Yeah, try it. Yeah, try it. And just like that, we are here witnessing the final moments of this disc one. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Pocket, your resident keeper of scrolls, sayer of things both mundane and obsolete. 
uh, your one and only pocket, and I'd love to thank you for watching this far if you have. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, notes about the progress of the campaign, things you'd like to discuss, questions, comments, things you don't know, I'd love to hear from you. Just drop them in those comments and I will respond to you. And until the next episode, my friends, we are going to take this save and we are going to Vamanosuke out. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode, friends. Until then, Jeanette.